morning. Good morning, it's nine o'clock now. I'm gonna start the class. My name is Angela. Welcome everyone to the Monday morning Hatha Yoga. Let's start with a easy diamond leg shape with the body relaxing, the hips relaxing your hands, arms, your knees, or your laps. Starting to be aware of your breathing. Slow down. Slowing down the heartbeat. It's out of fear. Slowing down the breathing. Simply connecting with that peace it's beyond our understanding. A peace from divine intelligence. One more deep breath here, connecting with the truth within. Come to a twist, opposite hand to opposite knee, and bring the hand behind the tailbone. You can either close your eyes or gaze toward the left shoulder or the right shoulder. Okay. 
One more deep breath here. Finding more of a belly breathing, less of the chest breathing. I'm gonna switch opposite hand to opposite knee. Give yourself one more deep breath. And slowly center yourself. We're gonna thread the hands underneath of our ankles or the shin bone. Smell your heart down. Finding that connection with that intelligence within you. That consciousness, that awareness from the higher intelligence of the universe. We're all connected we're not isolated. We're not alone. Just one more deep breath here. And slowly bring the hands out. And let's come to a tabletop position. We'll just start with our simple angry cat first. Rounding of the back, hollow the belly up. A inhale for cow. Tailbone lifted, chin lifted. And exhale for cat. Feel like that angry cat, you're rounding your back. Lift the belly away from the floor. Inhale for cow. Finding that wave on your spine. And exhale for cat. Tuck your tailbone in, rounding your back. Inhale for cow. We're taking it slow. And exhale for cat. And then find two more waves here. <clears throat> Move at your own pace. Tailbone lifted. And then tailbone tuck in. Last one. And center yourself. We're gonna make a cross with our ankles behind. Inhale, center, lengthening forward. And exhale, we're gonna twist to one side. Doesn't matter which side, whichever is your dominant side. Stay here for two more deep breaths. Finding that stretch on the lengthened side. And slowly center yourself. Put a twist to the opposite side. Making that nice C shape with your spine. And slowly center yourself. I'm gonna twist for one more round. Maybe twist a little further. You can see more of your heels or your toes. Stay in the twist for one more deep breath. And slowly center yourself. Let's twist to the opposite side, a little bit deeper twist. Mm -hmm. 
one more deep breath here. And slowly center yourself, relax your feet, and tap, tap, massage the top of the feet. Beautiful. Center your body. We're going to step the right foot out. So your entire right foot is on the floor. Beautiful. Let's lift up the opposite arm. Stay here lifting. One more deep breath here. And from here, we're going to pause our left arm that's lifted, going for five, six, sorry, <laughs> three, two, and one. Relax the left foot down. We're going to gaze toward that right heel that's on the floor. We're going to lift it up. We're going to pause that right heel for five. Four, three, two, and one. Relax the right foot down. And stretch the left hand toward that right heel. And resting your left ear onto the mat. Relax both elbows down onto the mat. And can close your eyes. Just finding that consciousness and awareness, becoming your strength. One more deep breath here. I'm gonna lift up, bring the head back, bring the knee back, and step the opposite side. My left heel is out on the ground, and lifting up the right arm, Gazing toward the ceiling, lift up a little bit higher. One more deep breath here. And from here, we're going to pause our lifted arm for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax the right hand down. Gaze toward the left heel that's on the floor and lifting up. I'm going to pause that left heel here for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax the left heel down. I'm going to thread the opposite hand toward the left heel, resting both elbows down. Noticing that extension of that lengthened leg all the way from the heel to the hip flexor. So one more deep breath here. And slowly lift up, bring the hand back, bring the knee back. Going to inhale, lean forward. And add to lean all the way back, stretching out the upper back and lower back. Take it slow. Inhale, gonna lean forward slowly. For three, two, one, and add to lean back slowly. For three, two, and one. Inhale, lean forward. For three, two. One, actually lean all the way back. Three, two, one. Gonna do one more. Inhale, lean all the way forward. Spread your fingers apart. And actually all the way back. Take it slow. Beautiful. We're going to come back to the tabletop position. We're going to tuck our toes and they're lifting up. First downward facing dog of the week. Take two deep breaths here. Lengthening the back of the leg. Lengthening the spine. We're going to bend the knee one at a time and take it slow. 
really bending of the knee. Feel like the knee is trying to point toward the right um, hand. And I'm gonna switch. One leg is lengthened, one leg is bent. And take it slow. Switching it's as slow as you can to really feel the hamstring stretch on the length of the leg. And switching at your own pace. No, do one more switching. And slowly lower down both heels. Gonna bend the knee gaze toward the front of the mat. And the tippy toes forward. And inhale, hands halfway up. Flat your back and add to change the chest. Soften your knees, softening your shoulders. Inhale, that's a root to right. Make that big circle around you. And as you swan back down, take it slow, hinging at the hips. Inhale, hands halfway up onto your knees. Really enjoy that flat back. And add to forward fold, chin to chest, softening everything. Inhale, root to right. From here, we're gonna have hands together. Give yourself a nice back bend. And slowly swan that down. Hinge it forward, take it slow. Inhale, hands halfway up. And exhale, forward fold. And from here, I'm gonna relax the hands onto the mat. Big step, bring that right foot all the way back and relax the right knee onto the mat. Beautiful. Come to our dragon opening. We're gonna wiggle that left foot outside of the mat and lifting up the left foot. Relax the left hand onto the left knee, gazing toward the ceiling. And try to lift up the left side of your chest toward the ceiling as much as you can. Take two more deep breaths here. And from here, I'm going to bend the back knee. And if you can, reach your left hand toward that back foot. And you can, if you can, grab up to it and gaze in toward the ceiling. If you cannot, that's okay. Flexibility is not the goal here. One more deep breath. And slowly let it go. Relax. Left hand onto the mat. Gonna come to your elbows. Palms facing down and lifting up the right knee. Take two deep breaths here. You can go back and forth if you want some movement or just being still here. And slowly going to straighten out the elbows. Beautiful. And from here, we're going to grab our left hand outside of the left foot. Nice. Beautiful. Going to straighten out the left knee. Gazing toward your back toes. Try to keep both legs as straight as you can. One more deep breath here. 
And slowly bang into that front knee. Going to straighten it out and bend. Straighten it out and bend. Let's do it three more counts. Shifting of the weight. One more deep breath here. And slowly bring the left hand back, drop the right knee down, swing the left knee back. We're gonna tuck our toes under and lift up, downward facing. Take two deep breaths here, by your chest back, allowing more weight to be on your heels. To bend the knees, gaze toward the front of the mat. You can either hop forward or tippy toes forward. Inhale, hands halfway up. And exhale, relax them all, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, circling up. Hands together on top and back bend. Back bend a little bit more for the challenge. And slowly hinge forward, swan dive down. Inhale, hands halfway up. And exhale, forward fold. Relaxing them all. Relax the hands onto the mat and let's step the left foot back all the way back. Drop the left knee down. And then wiggle the right heel outside of the mat. And place the right hand onto the right knee and push that right knee out and down. Find that resistance with that right hand against that right knee. We're trying to open up that right hip flexor here. Try to lift up right side of chest toward the ceiling a little bit more. Give yourself one more deep breath here. And if you can bend the back knee and reach your right hand toward the right foot. You can use your fist. Yeah, no, it hurts. Okay. One more deep breath here in that deep twist and stretch. And slowly let it go. Bring that right hand forward. It's gonna come to our elbow. And lifting up the left knee if you can. And being still here or shift the weight back and forth. One more deep breath here. I'm going to straighten out the elbows, keep that left knee lifted off the floor. I'm going to wrap our right hand around, come to the outside of your right toes. Beautiful. I'm going to try to straighten out that right knee. Gazing toward the back toes. One more deep breath here. Bend the right knee and straighten it out. Bending at the knee and straighten it out. Give yourself three more counts here. Noticing how the weight is shifted, how your body functions. Functional movements. Synchronize with your breathing. Just one more deep breath here. And slowly drop that left knee, bring the hand back, and swing that knee back. 
can come to rest in a child pose. You can either spread your knees apart or bring your knees together. Try to relax your elbows, relax your forehead. Bow into that divine intelligence that's connecting us all as one. One more deep breath here. And slowly lift up. I'm gonna come back to the tabletop position. And from here, going to tuck our toes under and lift up, downward facing. From your downward facing, we're gonna bend the knees, gaze toward your thumbs. I'm gonna make circles with our knees and the hips. Take it slow. Functional movement with our body and awareness in our mind. Three more circling with our knees, our hips. Okay. One more circling. And now I'm gonna circle the opposite direction. But if you're tired, you can rest your knees down for a deep breath and then come back up. Just listen to your body. And three more circling with that opposite direction. One more circling. And drop the knees. Going to come to lift up our chest. <laughs> Bring your hands onto the chest. Just going to lean back. Take two deep breaths here, strengthening the back. I'm going to pause our chest from here for five. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna bring the left hand toward the left toes and lifting up the right arm. Gazing toward the back toes or the heels. Two more deep breaths here. Imagine you are reaching for that higher potential. I'm gonna switch. Opposite, opposite hand to the opposite heel. Opposite arm lifted. One more deep breath here. Try to push your hips forward. That's right. Now I'm gonna switch faster. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, if you can, we're gonna come to a camel pose. You might need to spread your knees apart a little bit more Allow the hips to be pushed forward a little bit more to come to your camel pose. You need lots of strength on the lower back and the spine and the quadricep. Just one more deep breath here. And slowly let it go. Gonna lean forward and elbows onto the floor. Gonna bring the knees behind the hips. And just shift the weight of the hips 
back and forth. Just two more deep breaths here. Just allow the hips to be between your elbows and knees. And once your hips are between your elbows and knees, you're gonna lift up the right leg and then call that right leg here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm gonna bring that right leg to the side and pause the right leg here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring that right knee behind the hips. I'm going to lift up the left knee. And let's pause the left leg here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, we're not rushing for it, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring that left leg to the side and pause here for 10. Our focus is on the breathing for 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that left knee behind the hips. I'm gonna shift the weight back and forth for three, two, and one. Bring the hips between your elbows and knees. I'm gonna lift up the right leg. Come to a grasshopper pose. So we're gonna lift up the right leg a little bit higher, as high as you can. We're gonna point the left toes toward that right knee. Beautiful. Two more deep breaths here. And slowly drop that left toes down. Bring that right knee down. The opposite side now. So lifting up the left leg, a little bit higher, a little bit higher, and let's bend the right knee. Good job, everyone. One more deep breath here. And slowly drop down both knees. And bring the knees forward toward your elbows. Going to tuck the toes under and lifting up the hips. Gazing toward your toes. Take two deep breaths here. The focus is still on your breath. And from here, you're going to step your toes back into a plank and slowly step your toes forward. Step your toes back and step your toes forward. Take it slow, no rush in any movement. Stepping back. and stepping forward. Allow the hips to go high when you step forward. And allow the hips to go low when you step back. Two more. One more. And you did it. Relax your hips down. 
going to come to lie down on our belly, come to a sphinx position. Your elbows are so relaxed. Softening your gaze or close your eyes. You're more aware of every breath you take. More aware of that life force, that prana. We breathe, we live. Connect. So one more deep breath here. I'm going to relax our chest down, reach the hands forward, thumbs facing up, and relax your forehead down. Point your toes to the back. One more deep breath here. Imagine more light coming through your body as you connect more with that truth within. And then lift up the right leg here and left arm lifted. Gonna pause them here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax the hands down, relax your forehead down, take a deep breath. Now go for the opposite side, left leg up, right arm up, let's pause them for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax them down. Melt your heart down. Forehead is down. I'm going to stack our hands either underneath our chin or underneath our forehead, option is yours. Gonna bend the knees out. So gonna have the toes together, heels together. And from here, I'm gonna pause our knees, thighs up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep that position and just breathe and observe here. One more deep breath here. Allow the knees and legs stay the same. Going to Come to a cactus elbows with our arms. Palms facing down. I'm going to lift up the elbows only for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze into your shoulder blades for four, three, Two and one. Again, you'll reach the arms forward and act to bend elbows 90 degrees. Inhale forward and act to bend. Let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Elbows, knees stay the same and just twist yourself left to right. Let's go for a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, having lots of fun, isn't it? Two, and one. Relax your hands down, stack your hands, and relax your toes down. Just take two deep breaths here. Noticing the energy articulating throughout your body. And from here, I'm gonna open up the right arm, bend the left elbow, going to push our body to be on our right side, and bend the left knee up toward the ceiling. Gazing toward the ceiling or close your eyes. Allow that inner shoulder stretch to be a little bit deeper. So one more deep breath here. Allow the arms to stay the same and the bent knee for the lift of the bent leg. So left leg lifted and going to hover over the mat. Left leg lifted and hover over the mat. Let's go for eight, seven, six, a little bit higher for five, for four, three, two, and one. Bring yourself back onto your belly. I'm gonna open up the opposite arm, opposite elbow bend. Push yourself onto the opposite side of your body. Bending one knee toward the ceiling. You can close your eyes to feel more of that inner shoulder stretch. One more deep breath here. I'm going to lengthen out that bend knee. And going to pause the right leg here for 10, 9, 8, lift up a little bit higher for 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring yourself back onto your belly. Going to reach the hands to the top corners of the mat and reach your toes to the bottom corners of your mat. Lifting up your chest, softening your gaze, or close your eyes. One more deep breath here. And from here, I'm going to open up the elbows, fingertips supporting the weight, and bring your toes together. Inhale, lifting up the chest. And exhale, gazing toward the left elbow. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, gaze toward the right elbow. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, opposite elbow. Inhale, exhale, it's all in the breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, 
Exhale. One more round. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, one side. Inhale. And exhale, the opposite side. Bring the hands underneath of the shoulders. Bring the toes together. Relax your shoulders. I'm going to just lift up. Make sure you're gazing toward the mat, not gazing up toward the ceiling. We don't want to add pressure on our neck. I'm gonna stay here for five more breaths. Still stay with your breath flow. Breathing is all that counts right now. Three more deep breaths. One more deep breath. Beautiful. Relax your hands. We're going to bring the hands beside our rib cage and lifting up the hips. And come back to your tabletop. Then tuck our toes under, lifting up, downward facing. Take one deep breath here. But bend the knees, either hop yourself forward or tippy toes forward. Inhale, hands halfway up and exhale, forward fold, softening everything. Inhale, let's root to rise, sense our location. And slowly swan back down. Inhale, hands halfway up and add to forward fold. Inhale, root to right. Hands together on top. Give yourself a back bend. Back bend a little bit more. Push your hips forward and slowly swan side. Inhale, hands halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to come to our chair flow. Bend the knees and check your toes. You can see your toes between your knees and lifting up the arms. And from here, we're going to come to a twist. Bring the hands together, lowering down your hips. You can still see your toes. Going to right elbow touching the neck, outer knee in the twist. One more deep breath here with hands together. And from here, we're gonna open up our arms, like wings spread it apart. One more deep breath here. And slowly straighten out the knees, forward fold, softening everything. And come to high chair. So you can still see your toes. We don't want to injure our knees. Bring the hands heart center, lowering down your hips, lowering down a little bit more. We're gonna come to a twist. The opposite side, whichever is your opposite side. One more deep breath here in prayer. Now gonna open up, up our arms. Spread your wings. One more deep breath here. Find the stability in your hips, in your knees. And slowly forward fold. Inhale, hands halfway up. Your back is flat. And exhale, forward fold. And from here, another high chair. Going to come to have our hands behind 
our neck. So now just pause our hips up and down. Take it slow. You can still see your toes for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you feel a lot on the quads and the glutes. And last one, I'm gonna stay here. Gaze into all your big toes. One more deep breath here. And slowly straighten out your legs. Hands hard center. Take a deep breath. Beautiful. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Hands together, give yourself back. We're gonna pause our chest here, up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one that was our back bending now forward bending hanging forward point the index fingers out and then pause our chest up and down for ten nine eight seven six five Four. Try to bring the heels together. Yeah, heels together for three, two, and one. I'm gonna stay here. Breathing. One more deep breath here. And slowly forward fold. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. And from here, come to a great pose. So spread the heels apart, a little wider than the hips. I'm just gonna shift the weight left to right. The neck and shoulders are so relaxed here. One more deep breath here, letting go of any burden, letting go of anything that's been held up too tight. From here, I'm gonna place the hands in front of our toes, So jump the feet wider and bend the knees. Jump the feet back and bend the knees. Jump the feet out and bend the knees. Jump the feet back, bending of the knees. Jump the feet out, bending of the knees. One more, jump the feet in, bending of the knees. Gonna add up to it. When you have your feet bending in and going to lean back and forth for five. Four, three, two, and one. Jump the feet out, bending of the knees, back and forth, heels up and down for five, four, three, two, One, jump the feet in, heels up and down. Preparation for a crow pose. We might not have the time to do the crow pose today, but the intention and all the strength have been built up on the wrist. One more here. 
And now I'm gonna jump the feet out, heels up and down. So our bend the knees first, heels up and down for five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten out the legs here. Point the crown of your head down. And from here, we're gonna walk our hands forward, all the way forward. And relax our forehead. Come to a wide leg downward facing. Take two deep breaths here. And slowly walk our hands underneath over our nose. Going to switch to the direction of your fingertips. Yeah, that's right. So point the fingertips toward the door and walk the hands back. And point the crown of your head onto the floor. Enjoy that. Spreading of the sit bones. One more deep breath here. And slowly walk your hands back underneath of your nose. Going to jump the feet in and have the knees down onto the floor, hips onto the heels. Come to lie down on our back. How many minutes do you have? I have five minutes. Come to lie down on your back. I'm gonna bend the knees. Knees are on top of your hips. Hands onto the floor, palms facing down. Knees together, heels together. I'm gonna straighten out the legs and bend them 90 degrees. Straighten them out, bend 90 degrees. Gonna go for 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. It's all in the breathing. Focus on your breathing. A nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees. Gonna open up the knees, heels together, and close. Open up and close. Going to do five more without the chest being lifted. Three. Two and one knees together. Now I'm gonna lift up the chest. If you have neck discomfort, you can use your hands to support your neck. Gonna open up the knees and close. Open up and close. Let's go for 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax your neck down, palms facing down. I'm going to straighten out one leg at a time. And lift up the chest. Two deep breaths here. And bend the knee back. If you need a break, rest your neck down. Come rest the neck. And then lift back up. Straighten out the opposite leg. Take two deep breaths here. 
and bend the knees. If you need to rest your neck, go ahead. If not, keep the neck lifted and switch the leg. Take two deep breaths here. And bend the knee. You can directly switch the leg if you don't need to rest your neck. You can go rest your neck by all means whenever there's a lot of discomfort on your neck. Listen to how your body feels. One more deep breath here. Bend the knees. Rest our neck first if you need to. And place the hands behind the neck, lifting up our chest. So to do a little bit faster. So to go for 10, nine, bend the knee and straighten out the other leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bend the knees, rest your neck if you need to. If not, I'm gonna go directly lift up the neck and gonna come to your yogi bike. So opposite elbow to the opposite knee, gonna switch for 10, take it slow, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Bend the knees, relax your neck, hugging your knees into your chest. Rock yourself back to bed. We'll come to a spinal twist. Carry both knees down on one side and open up the opposite arm. Connecting with your breathing. I'm going to switch to the opposite side, carry both knees to the opposite side, open up the opposite arm. Finding that natural breathing pattern. That's yours. That rhythm is that life force. We center our knees. And it comes to our final shawas and our resting pose. Relax your hands away from your body. Heels apart. Your chin is relaxed toward your collarbone. The back of your neck is straight. Relaxed. And living more in the present. Not in the past. In the memory. Not in the future. Fantasy. Present time becoming more real. Point our toes to 
together. Reach the hands above your head. Inhale, stretch, bend the knee. One more inhale, bend the knee. And the bend one knee or both knees. Roll over to your favorite side. Come to a fetus pose. Feel safe and secure. 